All right, I've got my 2003 Nissan Frontier. It's the four-cylinder automatic. And the problem I'm having is that it frequently doesn't want to shift out of park. I have seen a bunch of videos about it, but all the other videos don't aren't in referencing a column shifter. And they're like a, a console shifter down here, which obviously doesn't help me a whole lot. So I've pulled up the repair manual, and I've... I'm done a little bit of troubleshooting here to, to get my eyes on and see how it works and what the problem is. So, I just want to show you. So, here it is. And the problem I'm having is that when I go to shift into to drive or, or whatnot, um, I'll have to wiggle and jiggle, and sometimes it's real pain in the butt several minutes until I can get it into gear. So, I'm in here, see how it works. If you look right here, this piece right here is attached to the shift solenoid. I think you can kind of see it up there. And when I push the brake, it is engaging or disengaging rather. The problem I'm having is when it does that, I don't have enough hands here. Um, let me see how I can put up here. That it's not dropping far enough to let the shift, when I pull on the shift lever, it engages with this, this uh, shift interlock rod and then the, obviously the linkage within the, the tube. And it's, it's being blocked by that um, shift interlock solenoid piece, tail shaft, well, I don't know, cam, I guess it'd be I've found to manipulate it, if you're in a bind and you don't have time to tear it all apart, what you can do is you can pull back and then rotate down a little bit and reset and you can kind of force it. A little at a time until it gets down to that point. See there. And once it goes, it tends to go better. So that's a that's a problem. My foot off the brake. So you can see it's trying to actually. I don't know whether it's dirty and not rotating freely. But my suspicion is that solenoid is just not pushing it hard enough or far enough um, to clear. So um, what I'm going to do is just try and lubricate it first and see what happens. Spray it in there really good. Get some lubricant, and we'll go from there. All right, I'm back. So I did lubricate it quite thoroughly. This is what I used. It's just some stuff I use as a locksmith. Um, it works really, really good, and I pretty much use it on everything around my house just because I have a whole bunch of it. Um, I'm sure some silicone or, or uh, yeah, something, you know, great stuff. Some sort of any lubricant I think would do the job, but um, it actually. Well, you can see there. Now, as I pull the shift lever back, it's dropping freely. I give it plenty of engagement to shift to let that slide forward. As it would drop previously, this black lever here would fall, which should let it um, fall far enough to clear the shift linkage, but it wasn't. It was like hanging up. So I think just after 20 years of dirt and grime, um, it just wasn't falling. Gravity wasn't doing its job or, or whatnot. It wasn't allowing it to, to fall far enough. I'm going to give this a try. I do know that I can jerry-rig it, you know, if I get stuck somewhere, I can kind of wiggle it to the point, now I know how it works. Um, but if I continue having problems, I think what I'll just do is I'm going to pull off that plate. Looks like there's just... I don't know if I can give you a good look at it. There we go. Looks like it's just one um, e-clip, or clip, or snap ring, whatever you want to call that, holding it on. I think it could be finagled out of there. Um, 
Worst case, I could pull the whole thing. Looks like there's two bolts on the side here, bolting it to the column, and then there's a couple screws in the top there to hold it in place. Um, but either way, it looks like um, just removal of that shift interlock solenoid or zip tying it up out of the way or something um, would probably resolve the issue. But um, that's where I'm at. I lubricated it, and I've run it a, a bunch of times, dozens of times, and it didn't uh, prevent me from shifting into park. It did hang down too low, like it remained disengaged excessively um, twice now in the, I don't know, 100 times I've tried, but uh, I'm not really that worried about that. So there's my temporary, maybe permanent solution, we'll see. But uh, that's what it looks like under there. You've got your shift lever, which pushes it in without pushing on the brake. That pin doesn't drop. And that pin engages that cam, which gets in the, stays in the lane, gets out of the way when it's engaged, disengaged. And then it can go past that nub. Alternatively, I bet that I could just grind a bit of that nub off if I had to, too. But that would be a last resort. But there we go. That's the issue. So, hope that helps you a little bit.